Now, the producer of today's show is Alex Williamson. He's one of our senior producers, and he has really been involved and invested in this show. Now, he's actually fairly new with us. Most of our folks have been here from day one, but we added Alex because he became available, and we know the best when we see it, so we went after him in a hurry. So this is his third season with us. He recently did a really powerful show called Stabbed in the Heart by My Teen. But I want to give you a look at who he is and a little bit about what he did before he came to the Dr. Phil Show. I grew up in the New York area. I'm a middle child. I'm the Jan Brady of the family, I guess. I went to college in Boston. It was always my dream to live in California. A few years ago, I met my partner, Bill Brown. Bill and I live together, and we have a shepherd chow, a dachshund, and a new kitten. When I was eight years old, my dad's secretary took me down to see a television taping, and there's a photograph that I still have me sitting on Tom Snyder's lap. I always knew I wanted to work in television. I started out with Sally Jesse Raphael back in the 80s. I won an Emmy Award. I've worked with Joan Rivers, Montel Williams, Maury Povich, and now here I am at the Dr. Phil Show. And Dr. Phil never treats his shows as if it's just an entertaining talk show. There's always that psychological element to it. Dr. Phil talks a lot about how he doesn't put this show together by himself. There's a huge team, starting with Carla Pennington, our amazing executive producer. I work with a team comprised of Rachel Phillips, who's our associate producer, and a new addition to our team is Sam Bartolone. Melissa Key is our supervising producer, and I think I've done just about the best shows I've ever produced at the Dr. Phil show. Couldn't do it without her. I want to know what somebody is feeling, what's motivating them. And that's what I like to do when I talk with guests who come on the Dr. Phil show. Sometimes um, I'll describe it as peeling an onion, and you keep peeling those layers apart until you get to the center. And that's what we really strive to do on the show. I'm really proud of a show that we did just this season with a, a young woman named Lane. Her family contacted us because Lane was addicted to heroin. And in fact, right before we went to tape, Lane got herself arrested. So mom and dad actually bailed her out of prison, brought her here, and we got Lane clean. And we're real happy to say that, that Lane is just doing terrific now. One of my proudest moments, I feel that we did save somebody's life. Now, Alex is in the control room with his uh, Sleeves rolled up, working on this show. Alex, how you doing in there? I'm good, Dr. Phil, how are you? All right, I, listen, I want people to know, you guys work a lot of hours on these shows, true? We sure do. And uh, this show was no different, right? Because this was a very complex thing and deep in research. Yeah, I, we probably worked on this show 24 seven for maybe the last eight or nine days at least. Uh, not a lot of sleep working on this program. Yeah, not a lot of sleep working on it. So listen, we just wanted people to meet you Tell you how proud we are to have you on the staff. So thanks for all you do, Alex. Thanks, Dr. Phil. All right.